the following materials will be required. One 250 milliliter bag of 0.9% sodium chloride, also called normal saline. If normal saline is not available, you can also use either dextrose 5% or lactated ringer's injection. One 60 milliliter syringe. One 18 G needle. Two alcohol swabs. Gloves. Regular examination gloves are fine. And contents of one cyano kit consisting of one 5 gram vial of hydroxocobalamin, one double sided transfer spike, both ends are identical, one sterile intravenous infusion set. This set contains a 15 micron inline filter, one sterile IV catheter. <laughs> Carefully remove the vial from the cardboard box that surrounds the vial. This will allow easier manipulation of the vial during the reconstitution process. Set the box aside as it will be used later to suspend the vial during administration to the patient. The 5 gram vial must be diluted with 200 milliliters of 0.9 sodium chloride, normal saline. Take the 60 milliliter syringe and attach the needle. Take the 250 milliliter bag of normal saline and disinfect the medication port using an alcohol swab. Using the 60 milliliter syringe, withdraw 50 milliliters from the bag of normal saline. Cap the 60 milliliter syringe now containing the 50 milliliters of normal saline and discard. There will be no further need for this. Take the vial of hydroxocobalamin, remove the cap that protects the rubber stopper, and disinfect the rubber stopper using a new alcohol swab. Remove the double-sided transfer spike from its packaging. Remove the blue plastic stopper from the intravenous tubing port of the bag of normal saline. Remove the protective cap from one end of the transfer spike device and spike the tubing port of the bag, being careful not to use too much force. Take the other end of the double-sided transfer spike. Remove the protective cap and spike the rubber stopper of the vial of hydroxocobalamin. It is possible when you insert the spike that a few drops of normal saline may leak. Allow the normal saline to transfer into the vial by applying a gentle pressure. Once the transfer is complete, to mix a solution, gently rock or invert the vial for at least 60 seconds. It must not be shaken. As shaking the vial may cause foam, and foam will make it difficult to inspect the reconstituted product. When mixing is complete, visually inspect the vial to ensure the reconstitution is complete. Since the reconstituted formula is dark red, a few insoluble particles may not be visible. That is why it is important to use the infusion set provided because it contains an inline filter required for the administration of this antidote. Return the reconstituted vial of hydroxocobalamin to the cardboard box that had surrounded the vial. Remove the sterile intravenous infusion set from its packaging. Using the infusion set intravenous spike, spike the rubber stopper of the vial. If possible, try to use the same entry site that was used in the reconstitution process. This will help prevent any leakage from the site used to reconstitute the vial with the double-sided transfer spike. 
Fill the tubing from the infusion set with the reconstituted solution. You are now ready to administer the antidote to the patient. Note that it is possible that the intravenous infusion set tubing provided by the manufacturer in the cyano kit may not be compatible with some smart pumps. If this is the case, the antidote should be administered by gravity.